Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. We're carrying on thinking about discipling new believers. Um, I introduced last time from David Porson's book, The Normal Christian Birth, the idea of the four spiritual doors. Now, as it is Advent time, I've made an Advent calendar. Hey, not with 25 doors, no, with four doors, the four spiritual doors. And the first door, which we're going to look at this week, is repent of your sins towards God. There you go. Repentance. That's one of the four essential ingredients of a Christian initiation into the life of discipleship. And as disciples, we need to signpost that for people and help them to do that. Because in our culture, often we've lost the ability um, to articulate sin or to identify and name it and so deal with it. And so part of becoming a Christian, it's good to come alongside people and help them to begin to get to grips and give opportunities um, for them and the Holy Spirit to, uh, to bring conviction and to root out some of the old idolatry stuff. Cut the umbilical cord to the past set out on a new journey and repentance means changing your thinking metanoia changing your direction doing a 180 and not going that way anymore the way of the world but going christ's way and so what i like to do often in the context of baptism preparation or conversation it, it, it's just to introduce um some questions for them to reflect on and i often play some music give them a piece of paper with the questions on and a gravestone and they can draw or write anything that the holy spirit prompts them about that that God might want them to tackle. Not that they're going to sort that overnight, but that there are some concrete steps that they could take in order to mark that repentance and start as they mean to go on. And the six questions I have, and they're down below if you want them, are, are there any idols you need to flush, i.e. things or persons or religions that you are currently giving priority to over Jesus? Two, are, is there anything you need to get rid of, e.g. removing sources of temptation from your house, deleting unhelpful phone numbers, destroying pornographic or occult materials? Three, are there any wrong or unhealthy relationships that you need to sort out or draw a line under? Four, are there any dishonest practices or unhealthy habits or thought cycles that you need to stop or take steps to let go of? Five, are there any grudges you hold? Is there any unforgiveness which chains you? Are there any sorries left unsaid? And six, is there anything else you know you need to put right? Now, those six questions aren't the be-all and the end-all, and there may be other things, but perhaps they just give people some pegs to hang their thoughts on and identify some things they might want to confess. And, uh, and it may be helpful that for them to confess those to you, but I don't press people on that. It's only if it's helpful. Um, but perhaps just to have, provide the space and the environment for them to do that with God so they can to get a great start in the Christian life and leave behind the old life to make space for the new.